Hello and welcome once again on video tutorial series for um, Microsoft Test Manager by One Test Solution. This is part 2B. In this session, we'll talk about how to create a query based and requirement based test suite. So let's flip to um, MTM. This is the plan, uh, test plan where we are working. So I will go ahead and right click on it and I will create a new query based test suite. Now let's say I want to name this test suite as smoke test. And in this test suite, I want to keep all my test case that has a priority one. So here you will see an option uh, priority or if you want, you can add uh, other criteria and you can select the value accordingly. Here you will see multiple options for query type. So this is a flat query that I have selected. There are other items that uh, other query types that you can uh, use. One is the work item and direct links or the tree of work items. If you want to add more criteria, you can simply click here and uh, you can add more. For example, I can uh, add a criteria like iteration path under whatever. You can select the iteration path as well. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to delete this. So just simply select and hit delete. And once you finalize your query or the parameters, hit on run you will see all the test case being populated will get populated what uh, that meets the desired criteria that we have put in the query simply click on create test suites now here you will see a smoke test suite has been created and the type is query based and the count of test case is three so this is how we can create a query based test suite now if you want to create a requirement based test suite so in the previous sessions uh, i have created multiple requirement if not you can go ahead and add the requirement uh, in tfs so in order to create a requirement based test suite um, click on uh, add requirements here you will see um, a by default um, iteration path for that uh, is going to be selected where your requirements are mapped or where you have stored the requirements simply click on uh, run test so uh, run and here you will see the requirements that you have created and uh, let's say i want to create a requirement based test suite um, for uh, this implement a contact us feature for ots and click on add requirement to test plan and here you will see all the uh, different test cases which are assigned to this requirement will get populated or added to it by default now if you will open this any of the test case that came here just double click and if you go to the test tested backlog items you will see the product backlog traceability or the traceability with the requirement now there are multiple ways to get this done either you can create a test case and you associate with a requirement uh, that we have seen in the in fact query based uh, static test suite also how to link with the requirement or you can directly do it from tfs so by any ways you can do it now the importance of uh, requirement based uh, test suite is it actually um, tells us the coverage how many test cases are basically going to be executed for a particular um, requirement it's it's little easy to track it now i'll go ahead and click on save and close so this is how i can create a requirement based test suite let's say i want to create a more uh, requirement based test suites simply run this you will find all the requirements implement login features and another user story click on that and i got one uh, item here so this is how you, we can create a requirement based test suites as well now next thing is let's say i have uh, six test cases here um, in requirement based test suite i want to assign these test case to a different tester or maybe I need to assign a different configuration. How to set up the configuration um, for execution of our, for the test plan that is again covered on in part one. Please make sure you watch that video. Now, let's say I want to change the user or configuration for one test case. Simply click on this and here you will find, uh, sorry, uh, no select a particular test case and click on assign so here you will see an option for testers 
right now i have only one tester that is being added to the plan so that's why you are seeing one tester here ots but in case you have multiple testers you will see multiple uh, testers list populated here okay once you will select you will see this save assignment option enabled since i have only one user which is already associated i am not able to see uh, this option enabled i'm going to click on don't save so this is how you can change you can assign an individual test case to a different testers at the same time you can select all test case or multiple test case if you want to assign multiple test case to an individual tester which is i think seems to be more practical that's what we do in day to day activity so select all the test case and click on assign and here you will see an option where you can assign all the test cases now if you look at this configuration section configuration column let me expand this so in the configuration column all the test case let's say this verify context as functionality now this test case is basically have has multiple configurations one configuration is that it needs to be executed windows 7 in ie there is another configuration configuration under the regression test testing plan then there is another configuration so depends depending upon what type of configuration you have created or associated with a particular test plan we can set those options in now so that you can do from this uh, that you cannot actually do from uh, assign testers if you want to change the configuration you have to select another option here called as configurations so i selected all the test cases and click on configuration and uh, you can actually select the configuration right now in the previous screen we have seen that uh, there were multiple configurations assigned right so that's why we are able to see multiple option multiple here but if you want to assign a particular configuration let's say i want to assign only windows 7 and ie so select this and you will see this option so you can change the configurations accordingly this section becomes very important again it is linked with the test plan uh, so if you want to again um, you want to know how to create and set those configurations uh, what are the different values and parameters we can assign to the configuration please watch uh, part 1 then i will go ahead and click on close so this is how we can create um, and set the configurations now another thing that uh, we do on day on day basis is let's say i am in a sprint uh, one and i created test suites um, accordingly now when i move to the another release or maybe another another build or another sprint i may have to run these again at that point in time probably i have to execute the same test so what we can do is basically we can actually copy paste the test cases test suites and test plan in fact in order to do that right click on the test plan and click on clone test plan okay so here you will see in the left hand side this is the source and right hand side is the target <coughs> so in the source um, you will see the test plan selected and it's non editable because this is a test plan that we are going to clone in the test suite you will see an option which test suite you want to clone you have feature to select all or you can ignore all also let's say if you only want to uh, copy configuration settings or the test plan uh, configurations then don't select any test suites but in case you want to select test case or test suite also so you can go ahead and select that option let's say i want in the next uh, patch release maybe i want to execute test case uh, uh, i want to execute all the test cases which comes under this user story implement context as featured so i will just select this part and here i will give the name so let's say um, i want to give the name of test plan as release or maybe patch release is to dot eight okay and then click on clone here you see an option called as clone requirements also if you want you can clone requirements or you can ignore this option so <coughs> now here um, 
you will see that the test case has been cloned. Now go to, this is the log for cloning. So it's actually cloning right now. If you go to home page again, um, click on this home. Now here you will see a release that we have created or the test plan that we have cloned. So select that and click on select plan. All the test cases or the user story um, that you selected have been moved here. Now you can actually clone your uh, test uh, test suites as well. So in order to do that, simply copy and paste. Now you see there is another test suite that has been created. One thing to watch out for is here you see, um, let's say if you go to the first test suite, um, you will see the first test case whose ID is 52. Here also you will see the same 52 ID, which means um, there is just work one work item. It's pointing to the same work item. It has not created two different test cases. The test case is still one. It's pointing it and it has multiple images. Okay. Now, when you do the execution, all the test results are going to be tracked separately. For example, when you are you are executing the test case, which is um, in this uh, user story or, or the test suite, and it passed here. There is a possibility when you run in the other test suite, it may fail. Which so which is actually a, a good thing that results are tracked separately as per the um, test suite basis. Okay. So um, this is how we can create, we can clone the test case or the test plan. <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching.